I'm going to show you how to prepare a polar grid on Affinity Designer and to use a function called symbols to draw mandalas because there is no symmetry tool in the vector persona on Affinity Designer but there is this function called symbols and I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, okay, to begin, we're going to do a document 2000 by 2000 pixels. I already made one here. And also to explain you, I already made this tutorial a few years ago on my old account called M by Morgan K, but now I'm changing to this new account, new YouTube channel called Morgan de London. So I'm not going to use the old one. And yeah, it's good to do a an update because there's the new version of Affinity that was released. So we're on this document 2000 by 2000 pixels and we're going to start with a polar grid so for that we're going to take the ellipse shape and to make a circle Okay, in this circle we're going to make it 1800 pixels by 1800 pixels. And we're going to center it. So to center it you have two options. Either you take the move tool, which is the arrow over there, and then you move it until you see the green and the, and the red lines that show you that it's a line or the second option if it's not a line you can use this tool here and choose a line center and a line middle then you're sure that it's very aligned then we're going to duplicate this circle so to duplicate you use the little menu on top left with the three dots and you choose duplicate and we're going to make it lower it 200 pixels by 200 pixels so this one was 1800 we're going to make it 1600 and same thing you, you keep it centered then you duplicate again and then you make it 1400 by 1400 then you duplicate again, you make it 1200 by 1200, then duplicate again, you make it 1000 by 1000 pixels, duplicate, 800 pixels, duplicate, 600 pixels, Duplicate again, 400 pixels. And the last one, duplicate, you make it 200 pixels by 200 pixels. Okay, so this is the, the, the base of our polar grid. Um, you can make it 200 pixels apart or 100 pixels apart or, or more or less, it's as you prefer. In the end, it's just going to, to be some guides to help you to draw. So let's take them together and let's group them. Then the second thing we're going to do, we're going to draw some lines that we're going to rotate at 22.5 uh, degrees. I'm going to explain you why. So for that, we're going to take the pen tool then we click on the left side of the, the biggest circle and then on the right side and it's going to make a line. Um, at this point I like to double check that it's really well 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 centered on the, on the circle and well aligned because we're going to duplicate it and rotate it so I like to make sure that the first one is really well placed even if there's no reason that it's not well placed but you know okay 
Okay, so this line we're going to duplicate it. So first thing we're going to make sure that the, the anchor point is in the center and then that, uh, that this curve, this line is, is selected. Then we do duplicate. We're going to rotate this line at 22.5 degrees. Okay, so you see it appeared here. Then we're going to duplicate this line again and we're going to make it at 45 degrees. And then we're going to duplicate it until the, the, the circle is, is complete and it makes a, a sort of target. So duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. And uh, yeah, when you do duplicate, it repeats the last operation that you did. So when we do every 22.5 degrees, it's making the less, next line at plus 22.5 degrees. So what it does, what we just did now, we did slices that are uh, yeah 22.5 degrees. So uh, the symbols, we are going to make them on 45 degrees. You're going to see that in, in a minute. So this is the polar grid. The polar grid is just a, a guide to help you to draw. So it's nothing more. So let's group it with the circles that we had before and we can make it a bit uh, less, remove a bit of opacity and make the lines a bit thinner. So we were at, uh, Two points so let's make 0 0.5 okay you know what i'm going to leave it on one because otherwise you're not going to see can you still see it okay it's very light but it's just going to be a guide like if i zoom in you're going to see it a bit better maybe yeah okay cool okay so now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do the symbols. The symbols is what is going to allow you to repeat the pattern. So for that, uh, we're going to take the triangle shape. And at the end of this line, I'm going to draw a little triangle. And this triangle, I'm going to make sure that it's aligned on this horizontal line here. And then we're going to make it a, a symbol. So the symbol function is here on the right. It's a little circle that is spinning and it's between the, the appearance and layer effects. So you click on symbol here. And then you choose in the burger menu next to symbols, you choose add symbol from selection. And you can't really see it, but it made a little triangle here. So this is now a symbol. So this symbol, we're going to duplicate it. So from the top menu here, we do duplicate. And we're going to flip it vertically. And then the second one, we're going to move it like this. So they are, uh, one is going up and one is going down. So they're facing each other. Then we're going to group the symbols together. And then we're going to copy this symbol around the circle at every 45 degrees. So to do that, we need to change the, the center of rotation, the anchor point. So to do that, you have to be on the move tool up here on top left. And then uh, on the arrow that is on the top, you click on it and you choose enable transform origin. So you tap on this and then you're going to put the central point from your group, you're going to move it to the center of the circle. So you, you click on it and then you move it here until it's centered. 
Uh, it's a bit hard to see, but you see a little uh, tiny, tiny blue dot in the center. It's showing you that my, my symbols here are going to move based on this central point here. So we're going to duplicate this group here. And then we're going to rotate it at 45 degrees. So we come back to the rotation menu here and then we type 45. And then you see new one appeared here. Then we're going to do duplicate and another one is going to appear here. It just appear. Then we're going to do duplicate. So another one is going to appear here. So yeah, every time we do duplicate, it makes a new one at 45 degrees. Then we do duplicate, one is going to appear here. Then duplicate, one is going to appear here. Then the next one will appear here. Then the next one will appear here. Okay, so I made those as, as little triangles. You don't need to make them as little triangles. It's just for you to see what it's going to do. That one is going in every direction and then we repeated them. So what the symbols are going to do, everything that we're going to draw in one slice is going to be repeated. So I'm going to show you how. So for that, you go in your layers here. Then you're going to open the group. Then you're going to open the first symbol and then you're going to click here. Uh, the triangle, you can make it invisible if you want because we don't need it anymore. It was just to show you. Then we're going to take, so you take uh, the, the pencil tool or a vector brush or whatever you want. And all right, let's zoom in here. So from now on, everything that we're going to draw is going to be repeated. Let's make the line slightly bigger, the two points. Okay, so hopefully you can see everything that I'm going to draw in one of those slices is going to be repeated. All right, so let's do this. So to show you that it's vector, I'm going to make some lines. All right, let's make maybe like this like this and like this. We're going to select those three lines that I just did. And to show you that it's vector, I'm going to change the size. So yeah, because it's vector, you can change the size. And also, because it's vector, you can uh, grab a node and move it, and it's going to move it everywhere at the same time. So there you go. There's no, um, yeah, there's no option to uh, to do a symmetry in vector, but there's this symbol function which allows you to do the same. So hopefully, uh, I was clear and you managed to hear me and to understand me. Um, Yeah, but basically that's how I'm doing mandalas. And then when you're done, okay, let's let's make a, a circle here. 
and then if you're done you just hide the the polar grid that we made under the polar grid was just to help us to be precise uh, in our drawing when you draw a mandala on paper you do circles on the paper to help you to to draw so that's the same principle basically so there you go this is how you can draw mandalas in vector on affinity designer this is affinity designer 2 for ipad it works the same on affinity designer 1 and uh, same same system on your computer or ipad or yeah same same system everywhere uh, i hope this was useful and that you understood what i was trying to explain and Remember, I have a new channel if you want to subscribe, that would be great. And uh, let me know if this was useful and if you understood everything. And if you are going to draw mandalas, don't hesitate to show me your drawings. Bye!